everyone. Notice anything different today? I'm actually filming during the day for once and I love this setup. It looks so good. I wish I could film during the day more and I, I wish it was like sunny more on a frequent basis during the winter. Um, so yeah, I want to start off by talking about how, how I store my brushes. Uh, not only the ones that I use on a frequent basis, but the ones that I'm not using on a frequent basis and just how to keep them away from like ants and other insects. This is, this right here is a Muji drawer and it's, I took one of the drawers out of the five drawer that I bought. I bought the five drawer compartment one from Muji for about 20 something dollars and I really like it because uh, the drawers slide out very nicely and the quality ex is excellent. So how I do it is like these are brushes that I don't use on a daily basis and I'll use them occasionally and I, I try to store them so that they're facing in opposite directions like the bristles. So as you can see here this one's facing to the left and this one's to the right so that they don't touch each other. Um, I'm just, I'm just kind of OCD like that. But uh, I also include this silica gel packet to keep the bugs away. Um, you can, I just take these from like the purses that I buy and then I put them in here. But I know uh, one of my Instagram friends, she actually uses cedar blocks to keep bugs away as well. Um, she uses, uh, for brushes that she's not using, she actually puts it in a plastic box with the cedar, the cedar wood blocks. And I think that's a really good idea as well. It, um, those, the cedar wood, wood blocks are good for like moths and stuff that like to eat wool and cashmere. And I think it would also be very effective towards just little insects that like animal hair in general. Um, so uh, how, how I do it is this mat. This is this mat right here is just one of those random kitchen, oops, sorry. Those random kitchen mats that uh, you can just buy at any store. I think you can buy these, these thingies that you can cut up from Target or Walmart or like any, just basically any place that sells kitchen stuff. And you just cut it and um, it'll fit, cut it to according to the size of your drawer and then just put it in and then you put the brushes on because you don't want the brushes, like the brush makeup residue to be touching the bottom of your drawer because then it just gets really, really dirty. And also these brushes roll around a lot so it helps them from moving around so much. Also, feel free to just use any type of cloth that you like, like it doesn't have to be this, this kitchen mat. It could be, um, I don't know, like velvet or something even fancier. Like I think velvet would actually be pretty nice and cushiony. Um, so I'm going to move on to brushes. So to some of the things that I um, store in, I store my brushes in on a frequent basis. So this is, uh, this is actually something that I use for brushes I use very frequently. This is actually a vase, I think. I got it at Marshall's, which is a discount store. Uh, it's a glass vase, and it's it's short enough for, for my brushes, so I really like that. And uh, yeah, like, I have a lot in here. They, it stores like so much, um, so many eye brushes and some face brushes as well. It's good for that. You What you can also do, sorry, I'm just, it's got really bright. Have to adjust the lighting. Um, but what you can also do is buy those clear pebble things from Michaels, like an arts and crafts store, and then just put it in at the bottom so that they wouldn't move around as much. Okay, and then the next thing I have here is a mug. And I store a lot of brushes I use frequently on a, in mugs because it's just easy. And this is the I Love You A Latte mug. It's from, uh, where is it from, Francesca's. And for stuff like this, <clears throat> you don't want to have any brushes that chip easily on the bottom in your mugs. Um, so what I try to do stuff, I try to just store stuff that won't chip and are, aren't um, pointed at the bottom. So just like, you know, like a Real Techniques brush or like, I don't know, like my uh, Ludosol brush, like I doubt the paint will chip, will chip very easily on these brushes, which is why I'm putting them in there. But if you do store brushes that are sharp on the 
bottom or seem like the paint will chip off very very easily so like so for example like the Chikuhodo GSN series there the bottom of their brushes chip very easily um, you're gonna want to actually take all these before you start storing them or if you have if you have some in a mug already you want to take it out and then put something cushiony in here like cotton swabs or cotton balls or paper towels uh, napkins just like if you use um, like Kleenex or something make sure you want, you do like two or three layers because like one layer obviously won't be enough it'll tear through the, the, the Kleenex um, yeah so you're gonna just want to put it in there and then put it on the bottom so they won't chip and the other thing I have are boxes so you can use any box that you like to store brushes that you're not using. Um, I, I have I have like Clean Clinique, CD Japan, Shikohoro, Hakuhoro boxes, and I uh, I really I really like this one. This is from I think their holiday collection this year. It's pink, so it's pretty cute. Anyways, uh, so I just like store them in here. I actually don't have silica packets for these boxes because I like I ran out, but feel free to use the silica packets or any cedar. Block, blocks in here and you're going to want to um, like like previously like like this how I have that mat in here you can you can put a mat or velvet or whatever you want in here I use um, just tissue paper so that it helps the brushes stay together and doesn't um, doesn't move around as much and then the the brushes won't get as damaged so as opposed to like not having any tissue paper at all I don't want like it'll just end up hitting the box a bunch of times whenever you move it and you don't want that um, I here's another thing that I do I do put them in um, brush guards before I put them into the boxes I just want them to maintain their shape and brush guards are the best way to do that they they won't uh, so I don't think it will damage the bristles if you keep them in brush guards for an extended period of time because it just it's going it's just going in one direction and it's not like you're shoving it like it's not like you're going like this like all the time because these brushes are not used that frequently um yeah so i i actually like to do it each box by brand so this is my chikohoto box and um and then if i have like more than one row. I'll just put another tissue paper roll up here and then put it on the top. Um, and then my next one. Oh my gosh. I know it's starting to run again. Sorry. Uh, okay, so here's a CD Japan box. Crap, the lighting. Okay, so let's just take this out. And as you can see, this is my Hakuhodo box. So. Once again, I store them in opposite directions, like each brush. Not only is it easier to store, like it gives me more space if I have them facing different directions most of the time. Um, you, uh, it's also, I don't know, it, it just makes me feel better because I'm like, the brush heads are not touching one, one another. And what you could also do is just like label each box with a post-it or something and write like Hakuhodo and Chikohodo and whatnot. Or you can even write on the box if, if you don't care about getting the box dirty or whatever. Um, and then my last my last box, I, I have oops, I have quite a few boxes like this, Chikohodo ones. Um, yeah, so you can also use really cute wrapping paper or tissue paper as the, the bottom part and then Here's my some of my powder brushes, like like this Hakuhodo brush couldn't fit in my last box, so I just put in here with the Koyudo BP06 and the Hakuhodo J104. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.